like to take you behind the scenes to talk about how we built the city of Zootopia. At Walt Disney Animation Studios, we strive to create compelling stories set in believable worlds and populated with appealing characters. Today, I'm going to focus on that middle part, creating believable worlds. So, we have to build a completely fictional, brand new animal city from the ground up. We needed an entire city layout, complete with streets, residential and business zones, and distinct construction, all while keeping the principles of geo design in mind. We needed it all built with a very small team, and we needed it fast. So, like any good city planner, we started with a map. This is one of the earliest maps of the city of Zootopia. You can see the beginnings of each district as well as how it fits together into the whole. And looking at this map, uh, we had to ask ourselves a few questions. How are we going to divide up the world based on this map? How can we connect neighboring districts together in an organic way? And perhaps most importantly, how can we distribute our buildings in each of these districts? So after looking at the map and discussing among ourselves for a while, we came up with a plan that started with a unified multi-layer map of each of the districts. So let's take a closer look at one of those districts now. The art directors wanted a very specific silhouette for the downtown core area at the center of Zootopia, one that ascended higher as you went up the hill. You can see that in this early city engine test where we have the smaller, uh, smaller plaza buildings at the bottom of the hill and the taller shapes growing as you go up. And because of City Engine's procedural rules and the way we were constructing our building parts, we're able to hit these tall shapes very easily just by dragging a slider or by painting a map. This allows us to iterate on creative feedback very quickly. So we can show something to the art directors, get some feedback, go play with it, and then show another version to them. The top image is my first attempt at hitting that uh, ramping silhouette like I mentioned before. All of the green stuff is buildings and trees that were exported from City Engine. And the image below that is a paint over or sketch from one of the art directors showing what he actually wanted it to look like. And having this kind of feedback is extremely helpful. And because of the flexibility of our City Engine workflow, I was able to take those, th those notes in from the art director, make another change to this, re-export it, and get it out the same afternoon. So this is another view of the same downtown core area with our city engine elements mixing in with our tall, distinct, hand-modeled skyscrapers in the center of the city there. Now, in order to export these uh, city assets, we first have to generate them using our procedural rules. So let's take a quick look inside of City Engine and see how we do that. We'll start in Sahara Square. You'll notice the Palm Hotel that I mentioned earlier. So let's select a few parcels and generate some buildings with our custom City Engine rules. Now, if the art directors aren't happy with the distribution here, all we have to do is update our seed and regenerate. We get a different mix of buildings and street furniture and parts. We can do that for the whole area, or we can drill down to a single parcel and just iterate until they're happy. Uh, this allows us to iterate on creative feedback very rapidly, like I mentioned before. So let's zoom out a little bit and move over to the plaza district. So the buildings in the plaza have a unique construction that allows them to grow much taller than the buildings in the Sahara. And as I mentioned before, we're trying to hit that silhouette that grows taller as you go up the hill. So when we generate our buildings, you can see those very tall shapes in the back and the more normal sized buildings down near where the train station is going to be. And because of City Engine's procedural rules, we can just adjust our height parameter and our buildings grow to match. So add it all together and what do you get? This is a final frame from the film's train ride sequence. There are tens of thousands of parts in each district. And when we add them all together, there are over 300,000 city parts in this shot exported from City Engine. 